and two showmen with little ding dongs. Alright, you guys, it's Eber Roman, and here today we are still traveling La Région Haut de France, and we are currently at Valenciennes. You can see the guy right behind me, and then in a second, I'll show you a quick round view of where I am. And with that said, we'll see what this city holds, what beauty there is, and let's go. <laughs> You might be wondering why not take the tram? Well, two reasons. I don't know how it works. <laughs> and two, when you visit the new city, it's always better to travel by foot because it's so much more better. You, you don't miss anything. You can stop whenever you'd like and video like right now and also take cool pictures like I'll show you at random points maybe here maybe <laughs> So this thing behind me is a basilisk. Uh, when you put your ears there, it should tell you what's on this thing. That's what two pros just told me. It's not currently working, but nonetheless, I'll maybe leave a link in the description down below so you guys can read about it. my walk so far there seems to be a lot of restaurants and that's super cool so I'm assuming that this is a big city a lot of restaurants from different um, nationalities if I may say that or a lot of different types of restaurants I've seen Chinese Thai uh, among others all right so Place Darm there seems to be a big shopping center uh, I didn't really stop inside because there's nothing interesting about a shopping center if you guys want a shopping center Y'all know where it is. Plus darm, okay. There's a market here. Pretty nice. Yes guys, we're at Musée des Beaux-Arts. Unfortunately, it is closed so you can't go inside and see what's inside. However, I couldn't help but make a grand view so that you guys could still appreciate the wonderful architecture and myself. <laughs> Anyways, I literally wanted to make an interesting point. So what I find simply fascinating is that a lot of these architecture, especially with men, one, show men nude, and two, show men with little ding-dongs. Yet in today's culture, there is such a great emphasis on men with big ding-dongs. That's quite interesting that this was proud. And we all were happy that we had small ding-dongs and that we just made status of them. I don't know the context behind that, but it was just something interesting to point out. Anyways, we will move on to our next location, which... I don't know what it is. Anyways, let's go. That's where we're going. Perfect. Yes, guys, this is Basilisk Notre Dame de Saint Cordon, and it is simply fascinating. I got very excited seeing it from afar, and it was simply spectacular. However, I can't go inside at the moment, so please appreciate these photos here and here. All right, and the next thing is that there's something which piqued my interest. So. They are doing a renovation that costs 600,000 euros, as you can see here. And this simply brings back to mind a memory when the Notre Dame, I believe in Paris some years ago, was burnt down and then they received a whole lump sum of money to re repair that. So this is my question, quite curious and nothing old. What's your opinion on people investing so much money on buildings, architecture and monuments instead of using it for another cause? 
food for thought. Yeah. This is just a magnificent view. So if you guys come here, I definitely recommend that you stop in uh, Jardin de la Ronelle and you can have a marvelous view of this place. It's really nice. Est-ce que vous pouvez entrer dans l'eau ou pas? C'est interdit? Oh merde. In the water snow, a guy lost his phone, but he got it back, so it's pretty nice. Yes guys, we are at Jardin de la Ronelle and it is simply amazing. So anyways, here ends our tour of the city for today and it was simply spectacular and here are my key points. The first thing I love about the city is, I'm going to say the green spaces. As you guys know by now, I absolutely love nature, green spaces, wherever you see these green things, trees, grass and so forth, I absolutely adore it. The second thing I like is the architecture. There are different styles of architecture here from Gothic architecture to modern architecture and so forth. The third thing I like here is that it seems like a pretty big city even though it's so small. Everything is so near. So much so that you have different fast food chains such as uh, Chinese, Thai, um, Starbucks, which is American, among others. And another interesting thing that I actually liked was that in the park here there's a sign here that says no smoking. I simply love that. So right now I'll simply lie here in the lawn and wait on my train which will be pretty soon so again guys if you're interested in coming here to Valenciennes I would definitely recommend it it's an amazing city and there's so much more to see so much more than what I've showed you here anyways if you guys like my video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you have not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel and share this video and my channel in general with a friend I don't it doesn't matter just with one person with that said ciao ciao I'm